In the complex world of business, you often need to work with many different stakeholders to accomplish your objectives. Navigating the web of stakeholders can easily be the most complex activity you engage in your everyday work. It can also be a crucial determinant of your project's success and consequently your career success. Hence, it is important that you have a stakeholder management strategy and the right tools to help you identify, prioritize, and engage appropriately with the right people at the right time. Introducing the Unplex Me Stakeholder Map Template, a powerful AI-integrated template that helps you visualize and manage your stakeholder relationships. The first step in any stakeholder mapping exercise is to first identify all potential stakeholders that you should engage with. Now, all stakeholders are not made equal. Some stakeholders may be directly impacted by your project. Some are directly involved in the execution of your project. Some people hold information and knowledge which are crucial for the project. Some are great catalysts who can help move things forward without friction. Therefore, it is important to classify the stakeholders so that you can tailor the level of focus, emphasis, engagement, and communication to each stakeholder category all through your project. As you can see, the stakeholder map is a matrix between influence and interest. The x-axis indicates increasing influence as you progress from left to right, while the y-axis indicates increasing interest or involvement as you progress from bottom up. And the matrix is divided into four quadrants. Right top quadrant is therefore a quadrant of highly influential and highly engaged stakeholders. Right bottom quadrant is the quadrant of highly engaged, but not highly influential stakeholders. Left top quadrant is the quadrant of highly influential, but low interest group. And finally, left bottom quadrant represents people who have low influence and low interest. Depending on the nature of the project and your organizational context, you may then determine how to place your identified stakeholders into these classifications and how to engage and communicate with each group. For example, you might want to engage actively with the group daily with the stakeholders in the right top, while you might just communicate occasionally with the stakeholder group in the left bottom to just keep them informed. We hope you find this template useful and to derive most value from it. Interact with Plexi, our friendly AI assistant, to actively plan your stakeholder management strategy.